morning and happy Saturday. It's the 11th of December today. Happy Vlogmas day 11. Um, I have just made my tea advent calendar and this morning I got a revitalised tea. Um, it's a burst of warming cinnamon, cardamom and ginger and that just sounds the most festive tea I think I've ever had. And the thing behind tea dart number 11 said herbs together that smell of Christmas, warming, uplifting, a cup to make your spirit festive. Which sounds amazing, doesn't it? Um, and today is, um, I've got a bit of work that I need to do. I've uh, got a lot of work that I need to do. And I'll probably be popping out at some point to pick up some stuff for dinner later. Um, yeah, it's just one of them get shit done days, really. Uh, last night we went out for tea to the pub for Jim's like family birthday meal and it was really really lovely. I had um, garlic mushrooms to start and then I had a vegetable lasagna which was made with red pepper and spinach and with side salad and some garlic bread and it was delicious. Um, I was a de designated driver so I didn't drink and then I got home and had half, half a glass of white wine. The house that's adjacent to us has been empty for a little while and somebody has just bought it who is renovating it to sell and they're having quite a lot of work done um which is you know obviously if you buy a house and you renovate it it's going to be noisy um but today is going to be particularly noisy so if at any point in the vlog you hear huge amounts of noise i apologize very kindly though the man that bought it um left us a bottle of wine and um a card on the doorstep to apologize which i thought was really lovely um but yeah didn't didn't really drink last night i'm kind of glad of it actually because i didn't really want to feel rubbish today because i've got so much to do but anyway cheers and happy of lovemas day 11. <laughs> about to start um, doing some work. I've got myself an almond coffee. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to hear that on video. Um, but I'm actually in the furthest room away from uh, the noise. It's like really, really loud in the living room. Uh, so that's uh, a nice background sound. I'm probably gonna put on um, some YouTube or something in the background while I'm working away to try and drown out the noise of the drill. Hopefully that will work. Um, it's currently 10 past 3. 
My lovely Jo has just brought me up a cup of original chai, which is exactly what I needed. Um, I've got quite a lot of things still on my to-do list. So I'm probably gonna be working all day, but that's fine because I've got a really fun day off tomorrow. Um, so I don't mind doing a bit of extra work today. Uh, I'm just watching my 600 pound life um it's on in the background i like to have something on in the background i don't like to work in silence does anybody else get that jim thinks i'm really weird that i like to like have the radio on or the like something on the telly i think it's because he gets distracted by it, it doesn't distract me it kind of it's i don't know it just helps um if you're the same let me know in the comments and let me know like what your go-to cozy program is that makes you more productive um i have a few that I have on light rotation it's usually some form of reality program or some youtube or something um at the moment i'm doing a really fun task so i have at this moment in time i have let me shut this book so I don't breach any data protection thing. Um, so I've got my 2021 diary, which is actually, it's sort of 2020, 2020 and 2021. So it starts from December, uh, August, sorry, 2020, and runs all the way through to December 2021. And then I started getting bookings for the new year. So I had to just really quickly pick up like a 2022 diary, sort of like August 2021. Um, so this diary finishes in July. Now there was a couple of dates left of july and i was like oh, i'm gonna run out so i was like right okay this is the opportunity to get a diary for the whole of one year and just have one diary so i've done that i've got um i've got my new 2022 diary and this runs from january right through to december which i'm super excited to be able to do i think i oh, hear it is if anybody let me spin you around and show you close of this book um so i decided to, to order it from somewhere different so i usually go with fringe i've had them for the last couple of years it's at fringe studio i don't know if you can see that logo but they're just like the most i, I just think they were fantastic um fantastic diaries for like a business or a really busy person who've got loads of space really really good and i did look for one but i couldn't find one and also they tend to split the years and i, would, I didn't want to do that this time so i got it from papier paper i don't know how to pronounce it guys there we go so let me just spin you all around so you can have a look i haven't got my uh, tripod on my camera so this is hard but it's basically got this really gorgeous foiled um quote that says the magic is in you and i've added let's do this 2022 the best yet um so this is just my dedicated work diary and um I'll just skip past that page because it's got my address on it. So at the front, it's got these um, sort of like monthly sort of things that are laid out. And then it's also got like a month view calendar. And then, yeah, it's got like... Um, for, for the whole of the month basically and then it's got goals for the month 
and then eventually you will get to sort of like the months with the days laid out like this and then right at the back we've got some lined paper and some um, graph paper too so yeah really handy really nice to sort of like write in um, so at this moment I'm, I am actually uh, transferring all clients from these two into this one which I actually I'm actually really enjoying doing because it's giving me the opportunity to get really organized um, go through just make sure that every all the information that I need is um, is in there making sure that the clients haven't sort of like finished their appointments early just getting a bit more organized in general something else that I ordered I love lists I literally love the ability to take everything out of my head and put it down on paper and then also like cross it off I think it's such a therapeutic process if you're very busy and you've got a lot to do I get really overwhelmed and I'm such a procrastinator and I'm really trying to be better at that and I've found like since I've started working in my office that making a to-do list for the day has really helped so I went ahead and bought myself um, a daily planner and I customised the front so it says panda up at top get shit done it's my daily planner so this is really really handy um, so right at the front it's got uh, like a mind map and it says this is your space for taking somewhere to plan without limits plot your personal growth and celebrate victories no matter how big or small this is going to be solely dedicated to uh, one of my businesses so it's going to be all about that but I might actually get one for personal things as well so pick three goals from your mind map these can be big break down the steps for this week set the month and the future set a time limit that works for you reflect every four weeks so you've got goal one goal two goal three um, and then this is basically the sort of like whole premise of the um of the book so you have it's these are laid out in um four weekly and it's not dated which i really like so i'm sorry that the lighting's so bad and it's refusing to focus but basically up here it says week of um you've got the months laid out along the top and then you've got a weekly overview so monday tuesday wednesday obviously i'm not going to go through the days of the week but they're listed down the side You've got your top three priorities for the week, the important to do, habit tracker, and then um, there's also a, a meal plan, I never noticed this, shopping list for the week. And then you have the days, so you've got your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it goes all the way through until the new week which i just think it's just so handy there's some lined um lined paper at the back and then you've got goal reviews at the back so you can see how you have done uh, yeah so I got them. Um, I'm also just sort of still working on um, things for my accounts, messaging clients, all, so all sorts of stuff going on basically but I feel like I'm being more productive. I have, I, I do need to finish my office, um, I do know sort of like the colour scheme and, and where I'm going to be going with it, so I might try and do that over Christmas while I've got a couple of days off, um, but yeah once it's painted it'll be even nicer to work in, and I want to get like a notice board to put on this wall here, because at the moment I'm just kind of like propping up my to-do list there, but I'd like a notice board. Um, and whatnot so if you've got any suggestions for anywhere I can get one let me know in the comments but anyway 
best get back to work. So I have some really super exciting news to share. Um, I am now an ambassador for Protein World. Um, if you are a regular on my channel and you've been here since sort of like back in the early days, you will know that I absolutely love the Slender Blend Protein Powder by Protein World. I used to have it religiously every single day and um, Protein World reached out um, and asked if I wanted to join their ambassador program and I very quickly accepted because I do love their products, just genuinely, genuinely love them. Um, so I thought I would try a couple of new products. Um, so I've gone with the Slender Granola. Um, this is in the flavour Honey Crunch. I am a granola fan and I've never tried it, so I was like, I'm, I definitely wanna give that a try. Um, also, as it's getting into the colder months, I'm starting to sort of like want warmer breakfasts, and I'm definitely more intrigued by porridge. I've had it a couple of times. It's not usually my go-to, but I do want to be a porridge person. So I thought I would try this, because it sounds incredibly delicious. It is the Slender Cinnamon bun flavour porridge, cinnamon bun, wow, um, and I've heard some really great things about this, so I'm super excited to try that. Now, I have had many a Slender Blend protein flavour, I've had the strawberry, the strawberries and cream, the vanilla, um, all, very di all very delicious. Um, but I have gone with the chocolate caramel brownie flavour. I haven't actually ever had um, chocolate flavoured protein powder, but I just thought, do you know what? Um, I do enjoy chocolate and I think that it's, it's like a really good alternative to having chocolate and a way to get a chocolate fix without, um, cause, um, without compromising your health goals. So, thought I'd give that a go. So, just for your information, the Slender Granola is uh, 50 gram is 189 calories, and that has 6.7 grams of protein, 100 gram being 13.4 grams of protein, and 377 calories. The Slender Blend, um, now you can have this with water. I've had it plenty of times with water and it is delicious. You can also have it with milk. My milk of choice is almond milk just because it is the lower calorie version of, of like a milk. Um, I don't necessarily drink cow's milk myself, um, but you can have it with whatever sort of milk you, you like. With um, 40 grams of the powder, which is four scoops, with water is 149 calories and also 23.2 grams of protein. 40 grams or four scoops with almond milk is 201 calories and 24.6 grams of protein. And the Slender Porridge, the cinnamon bun flavour, so the suggestions here are again with water or with almond milk. So 50 grams with water is 194 calories and 13 grams of protein. 50 grams with 150 milliliters of almond milk is 213 calories and 13.6 grams of protein. So I'm very excited to try them. Some other products of theirs that I have used religiously and enjoyed is the pre-workout. I've also got mug cakes and I've also tried the pizza bases and they're super, super good as well. Um, if you haven't watched my weigh-in video um, from yesterday, I briefly mentioned in that video how I am going to be transitioning back into counting my macros. So I think this uh, collab, um, this, what's it called? what is the name ambassadorship has come at the absolute perfect time because i'm going to be monitoring my protein i'm going to be having a protein goal to hit every day and um being pescatarian i don't eat meat i eat fish um 
I feel like protein supplements are a great way to help boost um, the my protein intake. So yeah, I'm so excited guys. So I've got some codes for you. If you use Weight Loss Panda, all uppercase, that will give you 30% off. I will leave a link in this video um, if you want to go and try anything. I might even be doing a cheeky new year challenge. So that will possibly involve some Slender Blend, possibly, possibly involve some of the other products. I'll be letting you know about that. But if you do want to join um, my possible challenge, this might be a sneak peek into the new year, then um, please do use my codes because it will really, really help and I'll really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, how exciting. Super, super excited. Now five past six and myself, Jim and Joe are very hungry. So I'm gonna get making dinner and um, we're gonna be having non-chicken or vegetarian butcher, what the cluck, chicken fajitas. And I've been craving chicken fajitas for a long time, ever since I saw um, Laura's, in Laura's um, vlog, she was making fajitas and I was like, I really crave fajitas. Um, and they're a family favorite. So I thought we would have fajitas tonight. So let's get making dinner. <laughs> So the fajitas were absolutely delicious, enjoyed them very, very much. Um, I'm super, super full and it is now 20 past seven. So um, I doubt I'll be having anything else to eat. I don't really have anything planned uh, in the cupboards for dessert. Um, I might have a hot chocolate or something later if I do fancy something sweet, but I'm gonna try not to as I am over calorie today. So my calorie goal is 1,400 and I have consumed 1,456. Not really gonna class 56 as like a majorly over day or anything, but it is over, so there we go. Um, I will just complete my diary so you can see what MFP suggests I will weigh in five weeks. If I ate the very same calories that I ate today. So I really do hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I really hope that you have enjoyed Vlogmas Day 11. I cannot quite believe that it is day 11 already. I better get more prepared for Christmas because it is creeping up on me very quickly. I've barely got any um, tea bags left on my advent calendar which is insane. The time is going nowhere. How prepared are you for Christmas? Let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to pop up a thumb so that I know that you liked it. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe for some happy vibes. Send it all your way. And until next time, I hope that you stay happy, healthy, and well. I love you all. Bye.